Okay, <clears throat> I got two super capacitors here, and I'm going to attempt to charge one to the other. So I have these, they're basically these, There's, these are 350 farads at 2.7 volts. So that's, that's what these are right here. <clears throat> I'm going to put a motor in between the two. Okay, but before I do that, I want to explain. I got this one charged up. I just used uh, I just used two AA batteries uh, and charged this one up to 2.52 volts, and this one I have shorted out at zero volts, and it's been shorted like that for for uh, I'd say like a good hour or so. Okay. Now, the thing about this is, just just imagine for a minute if these were containers of water, okay? Let's say uh, you got two gallons of water, okay? Except this is full at one gallon, okay? And then this container has zero. So, naturally, if you were to think about it, and you poured out half of this water into this container, okay, you would be left with half of the water, and the other half of the water would be over here, right? And you'd still have one gallon of water in your total system here, in each container, just divided in half, right? Okay, so, but it, it is said that when you're using capacitors, say I got this 2.52 volts, and this is at zero, what happens is this 2.52 volts basically will drop down to half as it charges this up to half until they balance each other out, right? Well, they say that you're actually losing half of your energy by doing this. And I can't exactly comprehend this. I guess it kind of makes sense. I mean, if you go online and you look for a, uh, a capacitor calculator and, you know, you go type in your, your joules or you, you go type in the size of your capacitor, like two microfarads or three or whatever, with like, say, 10 volts, right? And it gives you a, a certain amount of joules which is your total energy in your capacitor, and it'll, it'll tell you. And then, but if you go put in half of your voltage, you put in half, then all of a sudden you have like a quarter of joules. Well, you would think you would have half the joules, but you don't. You have a quarter. And then so if you add a quarter together in, in two, then you end up with, with like half the energy, and they they appear to be right. That's, that's like saying, if I had a gallon of water, and I poured out half of it, and filled up half of this with half, half the water, so I have a gallon split in half, they're saying that I'm missing then half the water. Well, then where did half of the water go? I just don't believe... They end up missing half of the energy, but I mean, they may be right. I don't know exactly what's going on with that, but so anyways, I got 2.52 volts, so I'm going to use this little calculator I got right here. Take 2.52 volts, divide it by 2. Okay, so when I connect this directly in parallel with this, I should end up with exactly 1.26 volts in each supercapacitor. Now that's 2.52 volts and this one will drop down to 1.26 and this one will go up from 0 to 1.26 until they're exactly even and balanced out. That's what should happen, right? Alright, so 
I'm going to take this battery off here because it's not charging it anymore. Uh, I'm going to put a motor in between the two. Uh, I'm going to take this short off. Okay, so, so there's going to be a tiny, tiny bit of rebound energy. Not too much. I'm going to now connect the negatives up. To this motor. I'm going to set this back just a little bit more. And then, uh, see if I can do this. I might actually have to stop this camera and uh, restart it here when I get this set up. Do that right now. Alright, so I, I put the motor on a piece of cloth. So, it's not so noisy. Uh, you can see the volts dropping out of here. And then climbing over here. And they're going to do that until they balance out to, um, what was it? point what was it 2.52 okay divided by 2 1.26 is what each one should end up at and if if they're right if they're right and <clears throat> you're losing 50% of the energy during uh, the transfer okay let's just say they're right and you, you just end up, you, you lose 50% of your energy wherever that goes. And you're left with 50% of your energy. Okay, <clears throat> each capacitor should have 1.26 volts. But I, I can actually end up with something slightly higher than that. And this is where I want you guys to question, what exactly are we looking at? Why do we have more than half when it should be half? Or let's say um, it's actually you're transferring 100% of your energy like you would with water. You know, you, you, don't, you don't lose any water. You still have all your water. Okay, but then we have a little bit of extra water in each, in each container. So that, that's, that's something to definitely question. Um, so, I'm going to let this run down a little bit. It's running down a little bit. But, I'll come back. Come back later. Alright, <clears throat> so it's running down a little bit more. You can hear the motor getting slower. Uh, if I stall the motor, I can actually speed up the process a little bit. So, I'm going to do that right now. Uh, it's got a really good torque. Okay, so I'm speeding it up. I'm just going to do this for a little bit. That's probably good enough right there. Yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back later here. Trying to run this motor down a little. I'm going to stall it again. Speed this up. It's taking a very long time. Uh, make sure I don't burn anything up. Alright, 
So the motor is going very slow right now. It's about ready to just stop. If you can see, you can hear it. Okay, so um, this dropped, instead of dropping to the 1.26 that we predicted, it stopped at about, well, almost stopped about 1.47. This has 1.27. So if I'm supposed to be losing half the energy, okay, I haven't really let, lost half the energy. I've got over 50% total if that theory is right <clears throat> but like I said <clears throat> it just doesn't make sense now the way I think it should be is whatever is in here like I said if this was water I'm not going to lose 50% of my water I'm not going to lose any water I'm still going to have 100% of my water just divided up in half that's all okay okay so the motor has stopped it's not running anymore okay and this we predicted that each capacitor should end up with 1.26 volts this only dropped to about 1.42 this went above the 1.26 so they're both above 1.26 so why is that okay if I'm supposed to be losing 50% of the energy okay well I obviously didn't lose exactly 50% of the energy might be uh, might have like 55% or 60 even um, but that's just based on the theory that I'm losing 50% of the energy. <clears throat> but I still think, I still believe in my theory, where if you treated these like buckets of water or gallons of water, and you have a, you know, and you pour out half the water from here to here, you're not going to lose 50% of your water. You're still going to have 100% of your water. And the total system in each container just just divided in half because so you just poured out half and put half of it over here and you're left with half over here so <clears throat> so you still have 100 percent of the energy left in your system as far as capacitors go i'm not exactly 100 percent sure on what the energy is doing exactly but I do know that I have more than 50% of the energy during this transfer from this capacitor to this capacitor. So, just leave your comments on the bottom of the video here and uh, let me know what you think about this. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.